they made the Model T from 1908 to 1927, and they made over 15 million of them. And there's still many of them still running, uh, a lot of parts available, original parts, and then there are parts suppliers that are making new parts. I love to hear them run. I love to make them run. Yeah, actually, I have a barn behind my shop that is a Model T parts barn. It's full of parts that I have been buying for years and years. And I have, as far as original parts, I have so many. I could probably build at least, I know I could build four more cars, but I could probably build more than that out of what I have in there. And it's kind of neat to take a, a bunch of Model T parts and put them together, but I try to make them the correct year. Like if it's a 19, if I start with a 1927, I like to put 1927 parts on it. It's fun sometimes to take different years because they will all fit to take different years and build a car that is mixed up like Johnny Cash car okay and it's fun and they're fun to drive but I, I tend to kind of like to make them what they are and then get them a title on them and it's another Model T run to me it's therapy it's just the best therapy I can I will usually wear myself out working down there in the shop but it's just good therapy for me. And I think it, I think when somebody retires, they need to have something to do. They don't need to just sit out. You know? it's, it's a lot of fun having that as a hobby. And of course, I'm a, I love mechanics, and it gives me an outlet to do my mechanics. I may be aching and hurting, but I want to go down there and work in that shop. You get attention. I mean, when you're in an old car like that, you're going to get attention. People think you you can't drive that car anywhere because it might break. Uh, I hate to tell you, but your other car, your real car, is more likely to break than it is. <laughs> I think one thing they're amazed that a Model T will even run that old. You know, anything like that that old it will even run. And it's, I mean, riding in a Model T is just fun. It's kind of like a, a child's carnival ride, you know? I mean, it's not scary in any way. It's, it's something that, you know, if you've never done it before, it's quite a treat. Everybody that ever takes riding in a Model T that's never ridden before just acts amazed. And uh, that's one of the biggest things that you, you appreciate about the Model T is it's very rarely that you pass someone that doesn't at least smile at you. 